This is an absolute treat. She is a legendary actress and comedian, best known for the role of Roz Russell in Night Court. She has since starred in countless shows and movies. And Chicago Navy Marsha Warfield joins us now with details on a few shows coming up. And this is your first love. Yes. Stand up. This Absolutely. is where it all started with you. So you're getting back to it. You're getting in, in, into the... Because people are talking about you were retired and you come out of retirement, but that's been a while now. You're back hitting your stride. I finally hit my stride. I started all over again. You know, I I had to learn how to do stand up again. I had to get the stage rust off. Had to build a new act. I'm a new person. I'm not the same uh, person who started in the main <laughs> no, 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 we don't even. You know, or I started. You know, people say okay. you say 19 these days, and kids go, "Oh my God, you're <laughs> yeah. ancient! You're yeah. ancient!" Yeah. Mm. I know, but it was it was a great time, and uh, it was a, a a whole new open pioneer kind of uh, uh, landscape. Of the comedy clubs were just starting, and uh, and I started here at the Pickle Barrel. Okay, mm. uh, Tom Treason was. Um, Running the show, okay. he had just broke up with broken up with his partner Tim Reed, mm -hmm. and um, and so they said anybody could come and try it out. And I had told a friend I was going to do it, and never did. So she came to my house, made me put on my clothes, took me down to the club, and that's how I started. And history was born. Who is this young lady that we're seeing I on the screen? No there? idea. Unbelievable. And by the way, people don't know how iconic some Chicago stand-up really is. Yeah. Yeah, Chicago uh, was one of the places, like I said, when the comedy boom happened, it just took off. And uh, and we went around at, at that time, and we would go to clubs like uh, Kingston Mines and Ratso's and tell them we'd clean up, and, and if they let us have the space, and we would do stand-up. And then I went to the south side. There was a club called Roy's Show Lounge mm. that was starting on 95th Street, and I told them I wanted to do some stand-up there. They told me they'd give me a hundred dollars a week and they would pay me uh, nightly or weekly, whatever I wanted. I said, I want to get paid every night. And there were six owners. So every night, one of the owners would come up and say, did you get paid? I said, no. And he'd give me <laughs> $20. And then another one would come okay. up and he'd pay yeah. me and I'd get another $20. There, and I'd, how you doing? I learned a lot about your business. But you know, uh, coming up as a woman in yeah. comedy, mm -hmm. That had to be hard. Because I saw a, a, an interview uh, you did with Johnny Carson, and you were actually doing your show during that interview, because I imagine he probably wouldn't have invited you on just to be a comic. I don't know. The Tonight Show was something that most of the comedians I came up with uh, was a holy grail, you yeah, know, to do exactly. the Tonight Show. And I did every other talk show that was available. And if the Tonight Show comes up, it comes up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And fortunately, I managed to get jobs and things without it. And then when I did it, I was already a known entity. Okay. So it was a different kind of experience. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, but uh, You made it red a little bit. Well, I got introduced into uh, television by Jim Neighbors. I did the Jim Gomer? Neighbors show. A Uber? Jim Neighbors had a talk show back in the day. I did his show and Merv Griffin and shows like that. And then they did a show called The Comedy Shop. And they would introduce new comedians on that show and have established uh, a performance introducers. And he is the one who introduced me Look on at TV. There. Now that's the past. Let's talk a little bit more about the present. Okay. Uh, Night Court. Night Court. Talk a little bit, of, a little bit about that. That's and the past and the present. Exactly. <laughs> and and we, we hear, we're hearing about a cameo? What, what's the deal? I did the um, uh, uh, season ending cliffhanger. I was the cliffhanger. And uh, picking back up, but of course, we had the strike. And uh, picking back up, I'll be in the first episode of the second season. Uh, and it's, I, I enjoyed it. I, it was a, it's like a dream come true you never knew you had. Are I you never, back with John Larroquette? He's a, I, I adore John. And uh, oh. he's... I've been in every show I've known him. That he, I mean, I did his his show, mm -hmm. the John Larroquette show. We did Night Court for seven years, and so, um, and we're like the last two uh, still around. Uh, yeah. uh, Richard, yeah, Richard Mall, Mall just passed, passed away, yeah. and Marky, Marky was such a sweetheart, yeah. and uh, Harry, Charlie. 
They, you know, they're, they're my they're sisters family. and brothers. They're family. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about Riddles. You're there tonight and tomorrow. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Uh, I'm so looking forward to doing stand-up and explaining to people uh, the, the just awful perils of lima beans. <laughs> <laughs> they just, uh, the, I don't understand how anybody eats them. They're the only thing I hate. It's the only insult I have. If I call you a lima bean, oh, you, you have know kicked you me off. The line. Okay? And so we'll talk about other things that I don't hate as much as lima bean. All right. Well, it's going to be <laughs> fun. All right, Marcia, like she mentioned, she's going to be at the Riddles Comedy Club in Allsup. That's out on 111th. That's tonight and tomorrow night, two shows each night. Check her out. Uh, MarshaWarfield.com is where you can find where she'll be outside of Chicago. Thank Correct. you, and welcome Thank home. You. Thank you for having me. I've had a ball. Thank you.